Hi, I'm Sonia. And I'm Tanya. And this is Cooking, Cooking with, with Commods. Cooking with Commods. Cooking with Commods. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to mix up some baking mix. The thing about this is it's all the stuff that you get in your commodities. So it's so much cheaper than having to go out and buy the brand name stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's so much that you can do with it. I know one thing that Tanya likes to do is just take some chicken breasts or I like the dark meat, so I'll use the thigh pieces. Um, dip them in an egg that you've beaten and then dip them in this stuff bake it in the oven and it tastes so good. And it's better for you too than going out and buying fried chicken. But for today, we're just going to be make, uh, mixing up the, the baking mix. So we're going to start with, oh, and I should tell you, we will be listing the ingredients again at the end. So if you don't get them all while we're mixing them up, don't worry, have a pen and paper handy and you can get it copied down at the end. Or so I have a notebook app on my phone and that comes in pretty handy too. Since you're sitting in the waiting room. We know you guys are all playing on your phones right now. So start with four cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. And I've got four cups of whole wheat flour. Make sure all of it gets out of there. Then you have one and a third cups of instant non-fat dry milk. Now, personally, I can't stand the taste of this stuff. We had to drink it when we were little, and today, to this day, I hate the taste of it. She I never would drink hers anyway. No, I wouldn't, but the only way I really like this stuff is this way. Mix it in. Okay. I've got one quarter cup of baking powder. And then lastly, one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. And then mix it up and mm. make sure to mix it really well because the taste of baking powder is horrible. One thing I like to do, I don't know if Tanya does it, I like to get just those wire whisks, just an egg beater, and mix it up really well. And it gets it mixed together really well so that you don't have to worry about that that taste of the baking powder. But make sure you don't have a fan going at the same time that you're mixing this because <laughs> you'll get a nice tornado cloud of this stuff going in the kitchen and it's kind of a mess to clean up. You end up looking like Casper. Do you remember the first time mom let us bake? Uh, the green cookies. We just thought it would be fun to experiment with food coloring. We ended up with green chocolate chip cookies that nobody would eat. Mom swore we did it on purpose because we were the only ones that ended up eating them. But anyway, they tasted fine. It's just a little off color. We, did, we made them again on, on uh, St. Patty's Day, so <laughs> it worked out. Because Mom's Irish and we wanted to do a little treat for her. So while she's mixing that up, I'll keep going. Just to be on the safe side, make sure that baking powder is mixed up, huh? Okay. You get an airtight container. Okay. I'll hold that while you pour. Okay. And it's very important to get an airtight container <laughs> because one thing we found out the hard way, at least here in the Dakotas, weevils. And if you don't know what weevils are, because I said that to my niece, they're little tiny bugs. Down south, they knew them from the, the cotton balls. They'd get into the cotton, but they get in flour, cereal, anything like any kind of dry goods. And it's not like you really notice the taste because <laughs> you know what mom did, right? Mom just fished them out. We had to eat it anyway, so. She said she wasn't going to waste it. Here you go. Airtight container. So that is our baking mix. And don't forget, you can use it for a lot more than just pancakes. Some of the things we're going to be using it for is pumpkin muffins. Ooh, I love that. Especially with a good cup of coffee. Cheese, com excuse me, commodity cheese pizza. Oh, It turns out great, let me tell you. And like I said, you can still use it for pancakes if you want, and then like Tanya's recipe. The chicken. Yep. It's called oven-baked chicken, and like I said, it's a lot better for you than 
the stuff you'll buy at the store that's steeped in grease. It turns out great. And like we said, keep it on the shelf. I like to keep it in the fridge. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. And here are those ingredients again. Four cups all-purpose flour. Four cups whole wheat flour. One and a third cups instant non-fat dry milk. One quarter cup baking powder. And one teaspoon salt. Mix all the ingredients together. Keep it in an airtight container at room temperature. Now remember, when you take it back down from the shelf, be sure and mix it up again before you use it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. This has been Cooking, Cooking with Commods. Cooking.